Hello, welcome back to InfoGamer. Today we're just creating an art asset for our game. It's going to be the score bar and it's going to hold our score and pause button. And in the next video, we're going to show you how to create a script that tallies your score. We're going to show you how to create the score bar asset today and we're going to put it into our game. I have Unity open and I have Photoshop open. You can use any art program, but I'm gonna, I've already clicked the background asset from Unity and dragged it into a Photoshop. I just did it again, so I'm gonna delete it. But I have it in Photoshop for a reference so that we can create our score bar at the top. So start with creating a new layer, grab your paintbrush and the black, and let's paint a line across the top of our background. All right, we're gonna wanna do a circle after you paint the line so that you can use the fill bucket and it will fill in nicely. I'm gonna use blue. And we're gonna wanna change the opacity down so that the platforms will go through the score bar and they'll be able to see the platforms. So create a new layer. And I don't like the what it did to the black line, the opacity. So I'm gonna refill in the black line. Get as close to the black line as I can. Do, 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 do. There we go. And then I'm gonna create another layer and create the drop shadow for the score bar. And this we're gonna change the opacity down to let's say 35% on the brush. And then you just fill in underneath the black line like this and it looks like you got a shadow now that, that there we go all right one more layer to create so that we can put our pause button on the score bar change our opac opacity back to 100 percent draw in two lines there we go there's our pause button and that's how you create the asset for this game. Let's merge these layers together. Merge layers. Then let's hide the background. And I'm debating on whether the blue needs to be a little bit darker, but I think we'll be okay. Save it off. Hit File, Save As. And we're going to name this score bar three. Make sure it's a PNG so that it will show all the invisible stuff and the opacities that we have on our colors. And save it off. It should show it importing in our assets folder because that's where we dragged that file from. And there it is. It's transferring right now. Oh, it's actually right here. <laughs> All right. So now let's put it on our game really quick. You want to go up to Game Object, UI, Image, and then you click and drag your score bar into the source image. This puts it in our game view, but we're, it's not in the right place. And how we get it there is we go to this anchoring menu. And you want this bottom right corner one that anchors it to the corners. And then you take these all to zero, the left, the top, and the right position to zero. And there it is. That's exactly what we want. And that's what it looks like. Whoa. Oh, there we go. And if you want to play around with this, the score bar, you can uh, create different ones with different colors and you can just see which one you like the best. I think I might like green or blue for the score bar. Let's go with green. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with us to the end and watching this video all the way through. We have coding videos on the way. Make sure that you like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.